the claws come out front, uh, the tail fully develops, and they're able to swim fully. It's known as the Superman, a stage four larval lobster. Its claws recently emerged and extended. The economic future of Maine depends on whether it will now manage to grow a shell. Wherever one goes here, the lobster's importance to the entire coastal economy is clear. Yet there's only one place to find out if the lobster has a future in Maine's acidifying waters. The student who is working on it. Right. As far as lobsters, it's one postgraduate student. <laughs> yes. That student is Jessica Waller at the Bigelow Laboratory for Ocean Sciences. The cause for worry is really that we don't know enough to worry. In fact, right now, the lobster catch is booming in the Gulf of Maine because lobsters have migrated north to escape warmer waters further south. And it also, it, but water temperatures are rising here too. Shrimping seasons in the Gulf have been cancelled because the changing climate has led to population collapse. Could the lobster be next? They might continue their northward migration. There are fears about more disease and predators. Jessica Waller is investigating another effect of increased carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, a lowering of the ocean's pH level, acidification. Right now, as we said, the pH is 8.1. Uh, the predicted pH for the year 2100 is 7.9. And as we know, pH is on a logarithmic scale, so that is actually a huge uh, change in pH. Some places in Casco Bay, where they've measured the acidity in the clam flats, and it's enough to be dissolving clam shells. State Senator Christopher Johnson is fighting to secure the funding needed for extensive research into what he feels is an existential threat. But even with Maine's economy at stake and a state commission that's recommended immediate action, climate change denial stretches from the governor to the state house. It's more a matter of ideology, uh, largely in the Republican Party, uh, not being willing to see the effects of uh, climate change, um, in this case, with uh, the warming that's happening, um, that's moving some of our species northward, including our lobster, and the ocean acidification, which is an entirely different effect, the same root causes, the greenhouse gases. It's a fear expressed in vulnerable communities around the world, the lack of urgency in confronting climate change. It can hit home really fast, and we better be, we better have our stuff together, you know, we better be, we better be ready for, ready for action of some kind. Acidification is intensifying. Thousands of jobs and hundreds of millions of dollars now rest on what Jessica Waller discovers. Shehabritansi Al Jazeera, Maine.